Hey guys and welcome back to Tips with Mona. This is me Mona Abu Fayyad. I'm an architect and a designer and today I decided to make a video for you and then I'm applying my voiceover on the video because I honestly was on vacation and I didn't have time to create a full video for you but I couldn't skip this week without providing you with a video so let's start but before that please make sure to subscribe like share and hit the notifications bell on if you haven't already Today we're creating an architectural poster. It's gonna be 800 by 1600. Now I'm dragging my render shot. I'm scaling this photo and then I'm dragging this photo down, but not to the end of the poster. I'll rasterize my image and then I'll start extending the grass so I can place my plans on it. I'm using the clone stamp to do this step. I'm taking drops of the of the image and then I took the brush tool and then I extended the colors. After that, I brought a grass texture and I laid it over the poster and created a mask to remove the excess part of the grass. So this grass texture is gonna make my poster look seamless and it will hide all the bumps in the grass. Now I'm gonna do the same for the sky. I'm taking drops of the sky and then I'm extending the color of the sky. Then right here, I'm gonna make this tree look like as if it is not cut it. And then now I'm dragging the plants and I decided to place them at the bottom of my poster. Here I merged my plans and I control T to scale them. And then I created a masking layer and with my brush tool I'm fading the edges of the plans. And now I'm gonna bring a tree branch to extend it and place my elevations on this branch later on. It's just an artistic thing to do. And then I picked the same color of the branch to extend this line that I'm gonna use as my section space. And now I'm creating another branch with my clone tool to make the end of this uh, line look as if it is a branch as well and now i'm dragging my sections to this branch i'm trying to align them and then i'm gonna fix the colors and the presentation I removed the extra colors and now I'm gonna make the two sections look like as if they are one rendered image. 
so I'm trying to fix the render. And now I'm gonna make the sky of the sections look as faded as I can. So I picked a round faded brush to do that and I created a masking layer and I started fading this guy. And now I'm gonna extend the soil and the mountains till the end of the branch to enhance the presentation of my poster. I'm using the clone stamp again to extend the texture of the mountain. I'll do the same to the other side of the section. And then here I have prepared some text for my poster. I'm gonna just copy paste and check which font size and font type is the best for my poster. For me, I have chosen impact for the title. And I'm gonna change the color and the style. So I've added a stroke, black stroke, And I changed the color to white and moved it up and scaled it up and then I copied the rest of the information I adjusted the text and I'm changing the font you can keep trying different fonts until you like it Then I brought the other two shots here. I kept changing the scale until I liked it. And then I duplicated the text because I'm gonna copy another text. And then I decided to change the font and that's it. So this is a very easy and very fast poster that you can create when you are in a rush and you want to create a poster for your project. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and hit the notifications bell on if you haven't already. Bye!